Good day guys, it's the Albino Rhino here. I've got myself a beer mail to show you. Came all the way from jolly old England. From a, from a good bloke. A good bloke. The Urban Viking Ale Review. The Urban Viking. Look, he even sent me a helmet. So this uh, beer mail came with a note. It says, Chad, this is not a trade. It is a gift to say thanks for all the entertainment. Just a few stouts, a porter, and an obligatory non-alcoholic beer for the chuck. You now own the original Tuvar Helm, or the Urban Viking Ale Review. Wear with caution, David. And I really can see why you have to wear it with caution, because I freak out when I put it on. Anyway, uh, so there was five beers in this case. They all made it. It was great packaging. Uh, we first have from the Mighty Hot Brewery, brewed in uh, Lime Regis, 4.4% alcohol, the Black Pearl Porter. Then we have, there's two bottles of this in here. Um, this is from BrewDog. This is the Paradox Isle of Erin. It is an Imperial Stout. Matured in Isle of Erin whiskey casks. I'm actually really excited about this. 10% alcohol. This will probably be one that I do with uh, the cartoon would be my guess. Now this, this is pretty amazing too. This is from Art Brew, I believe. Yeah, Art Brew. Uh, this is a, a black currant stout. And then we have... And then we have the beer for the chuck. Kronbacher Alcohol Frey, Alcohol Frey Pilsner, or Alcohol Free. So, thank you very, very much, Dave. Uh, this is great. I'm going to have lots of fun with this. I hope you enjoy what we do with them. Uh, I made it through customs. Truthfully, in all honesty, I don't even know if Customs even looked at it, because all three, sorry, all four pieces of your Customs Declaration are still here, and they should have been pulled off at each different spot, like, um, English Customs should have kept one of these, and Canadian Customs should have kept one of these, and then this one here should have been the one that came to me. But hey, whatever. Um, when you're shipping stuff like this from another country to Canada, there's always the chance it's going to make it. There's always the chance it won't. Uh, customs checking these all matters on suspicion and luck, really, because it's a, it's, a, it's a random thing whether or not they actually search the boxes. And though I have horrible luck, my luck's been with me today. So thank you very much, Dave. Urban Viking Ale Review. If you guys don't check him out, you really should. Uh, he's on my featured pages. If you go to my, my page, he's he's a featured, featured page on there. Great guy. Funny. We all love him. We're hoping he comes to visit because we're going to put him up. We're going to bring him around. We're going to get him drunk on camera. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. This has been great. I loved it. And you know what? I was actually almost out of bubble wrap, so I'm kind of glad I got a beer mail. So now I can reuse the bubble wrap. Plus, I got another new hat. I have a collection of stupid hats. I need more hats. Thank you. Bye, guys.